following in the footsteps of uh, our colleagues in melanoma and other related disorders. Um, things like immunotherapy, specifically PD-1 antibodies, um, are of particular interest. So for me right now, we're excited to have recently opened up a trial using PD-1 antibody nivolumab in newly diagnosed glioblastoma. We've had the opportunity to utilize PD-L1 antibody atezolizumab um, in glio recurrent glioblastoma as well. So I think those are two very exciting things. I think the other areas that I'm um, particularly interested in, in that uh, have a lot of promise are thinking upstream from the PD-1, PD-L1 um, axis. So thinking about IDO and targeting IDO inhibition. Uh, I think the field of glioblastoma clinical research is at the forefront in that sense that it's really sort of um, looking at uh, sort of the next steps, what's going to go you know, after PD-1, PD-L1 blockade once we've investigated that fully. I think what many people are substantially interested in is going to be the utilization of not just blocking one um, checkpoint, but think about blocking multiple and what the best combination of, of things to do, or using uh, checkpoint blockade in conjunction with other either traditional cytotoxic chemotherapies or anti-angiogenic therapies.